Hello, uh, today I'd like to share with you some different techniques uh, that I use as well as uh, a host of products that I use to eliminate ingrown hairs and razor bumps and hopefully it will be of uh, use to you. Uh, for starters, uh, from a shaving point of view, um, I utilize the Conair Pro uh, Shaver, uh, which is equivalent to the Andis T-Outliner Shaver. Um, so that's basically to do my lining and to um, get rid of most of the, um, the stubble that's, that's left on your face or, or on your, your head. Uh, as far as the longer hairs on my face, I use the wall sensor shaver that has an adjustable guide that allows you to more or less uh, control how tall the hair is on your beard or your goatee. Um, after I use the uh, Conair Pro Shaver, then I finish it off with the, uh, the Super Close Wall um, ball bump free shaver and um, basically uh, that's what it looks like and my final pass uh, is actually in the shower where um, I use the Norelco uh, cool skin shaver uh, the 6701X uh, model number uh, that I use um, in the shaver in the shower it's a wet dry shaver uh, after the shave is completed uh, then I uh, apply PFB Vanish uh, for, uh, it's, a, it's a topical solution and I put it in the areas where I find that I get the, the most sensitivity to intergrown hairs and razor bumps, that is the back of the neck, um, on my throat, and along the shave line on my, on my, on my cheeks. Uh, I also use the Bump No More um, Lotion, which is a very good product. Um, it operates very similar to that of the PFB Vanish Gel, uh, but it's, um, it's more of an astringent and uh, it's, it works very, very well um, um, directly after my shave. Um, and then, uh, as far as the, the last but not least of my products, um, I use the Shave Aid After Shave Moisturizing Lotion that helps to rejuvenate the skin. Alright, now here's an example of what I do uh, uh, as far as techniques, shaving techniques. Um, here's the Conair Pro Shaver. In order if I shave up against the grain on my face, Shaving up against the grain um, basically helps to uh, pull the hairs up so that the, the shaver can do its job as far as cutting the hair. And then I can get a good line, a steady hand along my beard line. Okay. Uh, next, what I would do, or wh what I do next, is use the wall uh, bump free super close shaver uh, that I talked about earlier, and um, basically turn on this way. Get you nice and smooth along your throat area. This is the area where, where I generally get the most ingrown hairs and razor bumps. And to give you an idea of how the wall um, bump free shaver works, uh, you push a button on the side and the guard comes off and then you have uh, the blades that basically vibrate and collect all the fine hairs that are on your face that are hard to get to. And so that's what I do with the, with the bump free shaver. Uh, as far as my scalp is concerned, uh, well actually on my, my cheek and my scalp, I go back to the Conair Pro Shaver that allows me to get all the stubble on my face, 
Uh, so notice how I do a technique of going up and down, up and down. And again, this is just kind of agitating the hair to get it to stand up so that the shaver can do its job. And then I spend more time getting closer to the to the actual line of my beard. Um, and then I come back with the super close shaver. And grab the areas that I couldn't get with the with the Con Air Pro Shaver. So it's a nice smooth shave that you that results from that. And as far as my scalp, it's a very similar situation. I wear a baldy, so I do very similar techniques on my scalp with my shaver. And basically you just scrape the hair out of the blades when you find that it's not uh, grabbing the hair very well. And then I run a little water through the blade just to remove some of the excess hair that gets stuck, stuck in the blades. And you gotta be really careful when you run water through your blades because this is an electric shaver. And if you put water in the wrong part, you get zapped. As you can see, I do it that way in order to get some of the hair. And then I come back with a super close shaver from the wall. And basically show you down like that. Um, I'm not going to get in the shower, but uh, typically I get in the shower after all of this is done and the hot water has an effect of raising even even the minute hairs that I, I couldn't get with the uh, Conair Pro Shaver or the Wall Bump Free Shaver. Um, it's it's a, a finishing pass that I use along with um, a shave gel called, um, it's called the Air Shave Gel. Now uh, this is an awesome product that um, uh, works in conjunction with the PFB Vanish, the Bump No More, and as well as the, uh, the Shave A Lotion, uh, that is uh, the Bump No More and the PFB Vanish Gel. Um, so after the shave is done, then I take the Bump No More, or, or I'm sorry, the PFB Vanish, which is a roll-in applicator, and you can just apply it to the area that you shaved, like that. And allow it to dry uh, and then you know after you've gotten dressed and you got your cologne on then you can basically give a little bit of the aftershave lotion on your face like that which um, again has a cooling effect and a soothing effect to rejuvenate the skin well that's it for now um, thanks for your attention all the products that I've shown today can be found on shavinghouse.com. Uh, that's www.shaving.com. Hope to see you there. Bye.